Hi, this is Dan Probanic from Chagrin River Outfitters. This morning we're going to tie up a, a fly we call an egg sucking shiner. Uh, versatile pattern. You can swing it, you can dead drift it, you can strip it, you can tie it in a bunch of different fish catching colors. Um, just a, just kind of a go-to pattern that, that that I use personally a lot when I'm steelhead fishing and, and trout fishing as well. So I hope you enjoy it. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of gold flashaboo. Take about uh, seven or eight strands. We already have our the loop, the wire on our hook here, and we have a as you can see we have a bead on the front of the spinner blade wire. We're gonna take the gold flashaboo. We're gonna tie it in right off the top of the hook here. like so. I'm going to take a piece of olive marabou for the tail. We're just going to try and tie that in right on top of the flash. And you want to measure the marabou out so the it's about even with the hook point or a little shorter than the hook point so it doesn't get wrapped up in there in the in the hook point when you're fishing it. Just like a woolly bugger tail, take that tail and just kind of work it down around the hook a little bit. And then we're going to tie in this wrap the stem down along the hook shank all the way up to the bead just to give the fly a little bit of body the wrap that down bring your thread back good we're going to take a piece of <clears throat> UV polar chenille in gold I'm going to use this for the body could substitute hackle flash if you wanted to. In this same pattern, depending on which color I'm tying, I substitute hackle flash and polar chenille depending on which material I like better in that particular color. I use the chartreuse hackle flash, the silver hackle flash, but I use gold and copper and purple in the polar chenille. That's just my personal preference. All we're going to do is just Make sure these fibers of the polar chenille, as we wrap them, are facing the rear of the fly. Once you get it started, you're usually in pretty good shape here. But for some reason, I'm having a hard time getting it started. And again, a lot of these patterns, these are patterns I tie up that I for when I'm guiding um, that you know don't take a lot of time to tie which is kind of what I'm looking for but they're also very effective that way I'm not afraid to fish them in and around log jams and boulders and, and that kind of flake thing because I didn't spend 45 minutes tying it crank out a bunch of them quickly. I know they're going to work. And again, this is a, just, a, just a nice nice pattern for whatever it is you're doing, whether you're dead drifting it, whether you're stripping it, whether you're swinging it, just very versatile. Get that off there. Would finish that head. And some of you may wonder how we got that bead on the spinner blade shank. We'll have a little video to show you how to do that as well um, to make it a little easier for you. But that's it. 
egg sucking shiner. Like I said, you can tie it in purple, silver, chartreuse, copper, blacks, and different color beads on the head. They're just a very effective pattern for, for our steelhead fishery and uh, one I think you'll, you'll find effective.